others to know, to realise. It's a bloody sight more common than most people care to realise. To my view, the figures have not increased whatsoever as a percentage of population. What has happened is more and more people have been diagnosed. Now, when I was first diagnosed, it was considered four males to one every female. I disagree with that figure. I think it's 50-50. Just that females are far better at masking it. The thing, I think people to be aware that we, we're just ordinary people with a different shaped brain. We have, we are no different from the rest of the population in one respect. Every single last one of us is an individual. We have our own likes, our own dislikes. We're no different from anyone else in that respect. It's just that we've got a neurological difference. And if you look at a scan of our brain, I've seen the photograph, I don't know where it comes from, but the that stem that goes down the middle of the brain, it's about that wide on a normal person, and on a neuro, uh, autistic person, we are quite a bit wider. You're not going to cure that, you're not going to mend it, it's learning how to deal with it. First and foremost, accept me as I am in the here and now. That is the number one point, to accept me as I am now in the here and now. I cannot change it. All I want is to be accepted and respected as someone who is slightly different. And I'm lucky at the food bank because I've got three people who, who give me hugs every day and everything else and you know, I get to enjoy that. <laughs> So if they were to ask me, what is, it, what is it you're dealing with? I can explain a little bit. Knowledge helps. If they find out I'm autistic. Additionally, to, as I said earlier, accepting me as I am now. Ask, how does that impact on me? That's probably the easiest way. That's probably the easiest way.